The children are not here today, just a few again. And I have my service. I'm not going to speak of the children. Now, now, if you'd be good enough to hand me my wages, I will be leaving immediately. Hey, Papa, is this Mr. Sutherland? Don't you see, Michael? No one can hire a nanny for you now. The poor woman has nowhere to go. Don't be so grumpy, son of my father. This could make, make Papa the king. Me at your service. So happens today. It so happens today. I'm a chimney sweep. Now, now. Don't carry on so, Jane. Dad. Your dad. Fine gentleman. A fine gentleman. And he loves you. You know, begging our pardon. The one my heart goes out to is your father. What brings me here after all this time? The same thing that brought me here the last time. I've come to look after the baby's children. You don't need a nanny. Well, you did just misplaced for you. I might point out. But I'd like to get back to the matter of my appointment.
what do I do for a living? I absolutely hate when people ask me what I do for a living, because every time I say I'm a nanny, they automatically assume that I'm Mary Poppins. It's completely bonkers. Do I look like Julie Andrews? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing offends me more than being compared to Mrs. Mary Poppins. It's not like Mary's original, either. At the Nanny Academy, we were taught at Child Sickness 101 that a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. It's common knowledge, and for Mrs. Mary Poppins to create the idea that she made that up is absolutely ridiculous. Look at here, if it isn't Mary. 